Hello, my name is KMA. Welcome back to another episode of Be Better, which is a podcast that kind of gives help to those that want to be a better person today than they were yesterday and to become a better person tomorrow than they were today. I kind of believe that if you're consistently growing every single day that everything will be all right. You will become a better person, lead a life that you really want to lead. I have been around for a while and dealt with my inner demons for so long that I have learned a few things. One of my goals in life is to help others and sharing how I do certain things will probably help you. That is why I make these podcasts to help us all grow and be better each day. This particular episode is for those that want to be a better person to those around you, to your family and others that you love in your life. Also to be better to strangers that happen to cross paths with. It is also for those who want to become more aware of themselves, which makes them who they are. If you tend to be depressed and always looking at the wrong aspects in life, which makes you feel worse, I will help you find ways around recognizing those thoughts and eliminating them. They will never completely go away, but you will have control over them. Recognizing your thoughts that you dwell over and stop them before they can take control of you. That's what we're doing today is recognizing our thoughts um, and learning how to deal with them properly if they aren't thoughts that you particularly like. To get down to the actions of what we do to control our thoughts a little bit better, or at least become aware of our thoughts. I I don't want to call it control. Control sounds like mind control. But it's more of being aware of your thoughts, seeing how your behavior affects other people, and if you don't believe that those actions towards those other people are healthy and good for you, um, you can get rid of the thoughts or become aware that you have this thought and either not give that thought any substance or hold on to that thought and start dwelling on bad things that other people do around you. Being happy for ourselves is not so much judging the people around us you know some people find faults in other people judging the other people so they can feel better about themselves and that's not what we're doing we're all here as a team we're working together to be better people in general there's obviously people in this world that don't work to be a better person they just go through life when they walk through it with their eyes closed and don't spiritually or physically let anything um, do anything really that tough they just kind of live their life and and you know do what the average person does then there's other people who want to actually become better people to help other people out and to guide themselves and other people to places where they really want to be to remind people that life is a gift that We're here as a gift, even though it's hard. I believe that this is a gift that we choose to come here and try this out, to feel emotions and to feel pain and to feel love and to feel guilt and to feel all these different things. And I believe that um, part of what it is is a learning process to become more aware of how our actions affect other people instead of what I want because you're born into this world and everything is for you oh the baby's crying let's get a bottle in its mouth oh the baby has a bad diaper let's change the diaper and eventually you start getting more control over your life and what you're doing you become a teenager you're given more freedom to do what you want and um Learning to go from having everything given to, given to you to being self-sufficient is kind of part of the process of growing up, I believe. And if you want to grow up to be a strong spiritual person that guides people to the right side of life instead of dwelling on all the negatives that happen in your life, that's where I want to be. I want to be the one of the ones that 
um, treat life as it is, which is a gift. And I don't want to go through life despairing and how I'm going to financially pay for this or why does this person look at me strange or why did this person get angry with me when in all actuality sometimes it's the other person who just goes over the top because they're living their life and not thinking about their actions and I'm would like for people to become more aware of their actions because it affects the people around you I mean it affects your family it affects your friends it affects the strangers that you meet on the street and if we can make um, life a little more enjoyable a little more fun for people around us uh, maybe our lives will be a little more enjoyable and a little more fun so action one we live most of our lives just letting our inner voice go by without even thinking about it sometimes we will think about it if we think of something funny or disturbing I ask you to become aware of your thoughts last week how did you do that when you were waiting in traffic in a line at a restaurant waiting for the bus or even meditating did you become aware of your inner thoughts I know when I'm doing things on my own uh, like if I'm working um, because my job isn't pretty, isn't really a thinking job, it's more of a monotony type job. My mind will wander and sometimes if I'm in a bad mood, it will wander this person to this. I can't believe this person did that and this person has upset me and then I, I see my job is pretty monotonous. I tend to circulate those thoughts and relive those thoughts over and over again and after an hour of doing that you're really mad at a person for doing something really stupid and uh, really not worthy of the anger that you feel but that's because sometimes without us thinking we start rotating the same thoughts over and over again which creates some anger towards some people so if you feel like you've been wronged by somebody or something you can dwell on it or go well i guess i'm not gonna trust this other person anymore or hang out with this person anymore or get them out of your lives yes every once in a while i shouldn't say every once in a while but a lot of times uh there's times when there's people around you that you trust and love that behave in an appropriate manner negatively or whatever and you kind of give them a pass because they're your close friends and stuff that's that's a given i'm not saying well if somebody gets angry with with you just you know ignore them and move on with your life um you deal with it that's part of what life is you learn well do i want this person in my life still uh, if it's a family or friend you obviously yes so you you smooth over some bumps just to be friends with certain people so make sure that uh, you're friends with the right people that lift you up instead of the people that drag you down if you have family um, that drags you down do your best to you know do your family functions and whatever but keep your distance from them don't let them drag you down I perceive this a lot at work because I, I work at a job where even at 99% accuracy, people are going to be upset with me all the time over stupid things because I, I'm dealing with 5,000 pieces every day. And if I do 99%, that means 50 pieces are going to be messed up. And believe me, I'll hear from every single one of those people. So thankfully, at our job, um, we're more like 99.9%. .9 and instead of having 50 pieces messed up each day, it's maybe like five, which uh, we'll definitely hear from those people. And sometimes these people um, will get extremely mad and say irrational things. But it's just like, you know, if I, if I tell them, you know, if I am at 99.9%, .9%, that means once a week you're going to get something messed up. So because i am a human being and human beings make mistakes sometimes i actually have to say that you know what i just deal with five thousand pieces a day and if i mess up five of them and you happen to get one i'm a human being i'm sorry five people on average are gonna be getting a messed up piece each day so uh, you happen to be that time, and it probably won't be your last time, so be prepared for another. I am not a computer. I am a human being. 
<laughs> um, a lot of time people get caught up that they are the only persons in the life. I live in Southwest Florida and it's amazing when you're on vacation you completely drive differently than when you're not on vacation you drive a lot slower on vacation you try and look at everything around you because you're on vacation i want to enjoy it but i live in a vacation spot and when people come down here to vacation they forget that there's other cars on the road and stuff and we'll have i've yesterday i ran into two cars driving next to each other doing 25 on a road that had two lanes on each side but you can't pass them and both cars were just riding right next to each other doing 25 speed limit is 50 there and there was a line of cars about a half mile long behind them and it's just like uh just be aware of your surroundings look around see what your actions are doing to uh slow down other people be be aware that um people are down here working and stuff and try and put yourself into the shoes of other people yes enjoy your vacation but don't drive 25 miles per hour in the fast lane and the 50 mile per hour area be a little bit more respectful of the people around you and it's aggravating when when that happens but you gotta remember they're living their lives they're down here on vacations they're going oh look a palm tree and i drive by a thousand palm trees a day um they they're here for vacation and they're enjoying themselves and instead of getting mad mad with the people you got to kind of go put yourself in just their situation they're going they're on vacation they're having fun they're talking to each other I, i've seen people back out of their driveways and their condos and completely f get caught up in a conversation that they're having with somebody and block a road that's 45 miles per hour and just, just stop and just sit there and talk for a minute or two not realizing that they're out in the middle of the road and cars can't get by them people get so caught up in their own lives that they forget the rest of the world revolves around them so make sure that you pay attention to how your actions are helping those around you that you normally don't think about the people that you never really say hi to or really hang out with but how your actions affect those people which kind of leads into action too you are not the center of the universe Try helping other people out more this week instead of just going towards your needs. It could be just giving somebody a simple smile. Put yourself in other people's shoes all the time. I, I live my life any decision I have. I think about the people who are going to be affected by the decision, like my family or my workmates and whatever. I put myself in the shoes, their shoes. So you can't, like, on your way to the top run over everybody on the way knock people over push people out of the way i'm going to the top get out of my way you're slowing me down i mean ultimately you kind of do want people that slow you down out of your way but you gotta also be uh cool about it and remember these people have feelings and you can't like just push them out of the way screw you you're all done or whatever i mean yeah um if there is a person that is not gonna ever change the way they behave and they're bringing you down yes i want you to slowly get away from them but do it in a way that's not gonna hurt them and if they question why uh, you're starting to ignore somebody just say you know i my goals are someplace else and they're keeping me from goals that i want to achieve in my own life because of this behavior that you're doing which is negative or whatever I have degenerative arthritis, which means uh, I got this from working too much on my feet while being morbidly obese. I used to be on my feet 12 hours a day, and I used to weigh about 420 pounds. The two of those together made it so both my ankles, both my knees, my hip, and my back all have bad degenerative arthritis. I could go, well, I'm going to have to quit my job because the job, the arthritis, is really bad. And even though I've lost a lot of the weight, um, I'm still getting flare-ups of this arthritis on a regular basis, which is missing work for me. 
but I have to go to work. I have to go through the pain because if I don't work, my daughter and my wife won't have a place to stay, a car that we can go to the store with, and other needs that we need in our daily lives. So sometimes you have to do sacrifices to get the goals that you need. And um, sometimes those sacrifices are because you do not want to hurt another person's feelings by because you put yourself into their shoes and the pain that they would receive is greater than the gain that you would get yourself so that's what i'm trying to say don't trample on people on your way up use the people around you to support you not to trample and move on action three Relax, take some time for yourself to calm down and regenerate a bit. It could be just doing something you really want to do, a movie, some gaming, reading, a long drive, or listening to music really loud. Find some time for you and enjoy it as best you can because you deserve it. We get caught up in life so much that we're going 100% of the time, 100% of the time. And that's not healthy. We need time each day where we can just flush out our thoughts, flush out our emotions, and just come back to who we are for a few minutes each day. Um, don't get caught up in life. You need to have some time to regenerate. And I don't mean sleep. I mean do a movie, read, listen to music really loud. Um, do things that will really make you happy each and every single day because once you forget, forget to do something to please yourself each day, um, your days will become less optimistic and more depressive because you aren't spending the time to have fun each day to do something that you want to do each day and i'm not saying you know take a three hours thing and go to a movie or watch a movie or whatever it's, it can be just five minutes of meditation just something to reconnect yourself to the planet every day for a few minutes just to regenerate i mean we go to sleep and nap but there's a way to plug into the energy of the planet and recover that way too having two jobs and trying to make content on a regular basis has made me burn out a lot of times i realized that some of the things i was creating i was totally into and didn't leave enough time for downtime me time and guess what happens burnout so that's what happens to me a lot is i have two regular full-time jobs and i i'm trying to do content creation full-time so that's basically three full-time jobs which equals burnout pretty quickly so i make sure that i take care of my life which is the first full-time two full-time jobs and then i take care of what i want because believe me my wife and my child having a place to live is way more important than me putting out a podcast about being happy so I would take care of me um, then the stuff I want to do in a second but make sure that you have a little bit of time each day for the stuff that you want to do and for me it's usually just putting on some headphones cranking some music for a couple minutes or maybe even driving I'll, I'll crank on some loud music and rock out <laughs> I, I like all sorts of music, but every once in a while listening to some heavy metal um, is really good for getting the extra energy out of your body and and recovering a little bit f in the head uh, mentally and refreshing your day. It's really helpful to do that. Now, I'm not really a, a religious man, but some of the lessons from the Bible I hold true to my heart. Some things um, I was taught when I was a little kid from my parents, I um, were taught at a certain time where I think I was actually focusing on how to become a better person. And I really held on to these thoughts. And these are core values in my life that I have with the people around me and the people that I consider friends um, try and or behave this way also. Which is we are all created equal when you're born you are equal to everyone else on this planet what goes on after you are born will change 
how you are to the other people on the planet. So my upbringing in America will be different than somebody's upbringing, say in Turkey or in China or in India. We all are born equal. But what we learn as children in our habits that we have, that we have created through our lives from our from learning from our parents and those around us have made us different. But we are all equal. So when I meet somebody on the street, I don't go, I'm better than you. Hi, my name is Keith. I am better than you. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I treat you like, like you are me. Do unto others as you want done to yourself. Put other, put yourself in other people's shoes and see if what you're doing to them is something you want done to yourself. It's as simple as that. If you think a behavior is not is not um, deemable to, to be good, uh, and you're not sure, well, put yourself in the other person's shoes and see how you would react to that behavior if it was done to you. It's just, I mean, it's real simple. It just. A forgotten thing that people do or don't do anymore and what you give you receive so if you treat people with respect and smile you will receive respect and smiles enjoy everyone's company life to me is kind of like school and learning is done the best when you feel nervous about doing something when your body is on edge and you learn through doing so i've learned that through life that if i give out a negative attitude i attract negative attitude if i give out smiles and the respects and happy go luckies i will get smiles respect and happy go luckies basically it's what i'm saying so you give what you get or you get what you give it's more like it so if you want to uh get more respect you gotta give it for sure so why do you want to remember this you get what you give just as yawns are catchy smiles usually are also and everybody everyone likes to smile you are what you think so the thoughts that are going through your head is what you are because your thoughts are the things that make you do actions so your actions are created by your thoughts so if you are in control of your thoughts you are in control of your actions and make sure those thoughts are positive thoughts because you are what you think so if you're going around being negative and stuff you're gonna become a negative nanny and if you hold on to the happiness that's around you and smile to people and notice how people when they see a smile even if they don't know who you are they'll smile back just because smiling is so awesome so make sure you smile to everybody and remember that what you are is what you think so always try to be trained on your thought patterns it's imperative or else you get caught in this suction hole of despair and you get to a place where you just feel hopeless and there's no reason to continue going and it's not a place that you want to be it's just that's a scary scary place remember that you are the one in control of your thoughts if you give them purpose or let them fly right by and float away they won't do anything for you so remember them even if you need to bring around post-it notes in a purse or a, in your back pocket and write down a, a quote every once in a while during your day that will help you out, do that. Stick to my mom and dad, or actually I should say my mom was more into this. She would put post-it notes around the house. So you are loved. Um, you are awesome. And things like that. Just to remind herself because she was having a hard time with her own self-worth so these things would remind her that she is worthy and that she is loved which she was and um that kind of helped her keep her brain on the right path of enjoying life instead of getting sucked into the 
the life is hard, oh my god, what am I going to do side of life. Every time you get emotional and notice your thoughts, what is it that you are thinking? Or more likely, what perspective are you looking at this at? Sometimes wanting to be mad at someone makes you think something small is really a reason to be upset with someone and creating unnecessary drama. So if uh, you've forgotten about being aware of your thoughts for a while, because it is a very hard thing to do to be aware of every thought that you have and try and control the thoughts or curb the thoughts towards better thinking, I should say, because you really can't control your thoughts, but you can curb them towards the habits of better thinking. You can get caught up getting angry with somebody just because not so much that they've done, it's just when they've done it and what you are doing afterwards. Um, like I say, my job is very mundane, so if I go into work in a bad mood, I'm going to come out of work in a worse mood. <laughs> Because I'm already going in in a bad mood. Usually if I'm going to work in a good mood, I'm going to come out of it in a better mood. Because when I'm casing, when I'm doing the work, um, I have to have a certain amount of thought on the job I'm doing itself. But it's so monotonous that my mind wanders. And if I'm wandering in a good path, my path only gets better. If I'm wandering in a bad path, my path will end up getting worse and by the time I'm leaving for the day somebody's minimal negative action towards me becomes this huge mountain because I've been thinking about it and giving it energy and um, power throughout the day and that's what I'm trying to stop within myself a lot of times is I dwell on the negativity of others and it and it angers me because how I go, how can you be like that? I mean, how can you just be that rude or whatever? And I'm not going to make examples, but you know, it is when somebody's ultra rude and it's just like catches you off guard and you just get mad at them for a day. Try and get rid of that. Try and replace that and go, well, maybe this person was having a bad day. Maybe this person just found out that their mom was in the hospital and you caught them right afterwards or something and they snapped at you or you don't know what's going on with the other person. So yeah, um, I'm teaching about becoming a better person with yourself, but you also got to be understanding or accepting that other people have lives and there's a lot of negativity in life and a lot of hard things that happen and um, you just have to not take stock in it. I mean, you gotta recognize the bad things and let them go with love. Recognize the bad things and let them go with love in your own behavior. And a lot of this has to do, and this is the, the whole, the whole kitten caboodle. I mean, if I were to say what the meaning of life were to be, and this is a really deep to get into on in the second episode being happy about yourself but it, the meaning of life is number 42 that is the meaning of life the four has four angles the two has two which makes 42 okay I'm just kidding off with <laughs> off with the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy sorry if you hadn't read that or read that seen the movie go go read that it's a cute cute story the meaning of life is not the number 42. It is to live in the now. Forget about the past. Don't worry about the future and live right now. So that's basically what I'm trying to teach you guys is to live right now. So if somebody yells at you 30 seconds ago, it's in the past. Forget about it. If it was something that you need to work on, and they actually kind of got on you for a good reason, yes, work on that. Don't tell these people, screw you. But if it makes you better at your job, it's making you better. And that's what this whole thing is about, having a better life. So if, even if it's just something at better job, even though we may not like where the thing came from, if it's from somebody that you don't really care for, but it's true, you do it. 
and forget about the fact that they got mad at you and do the best that you can do and make it up to them. You just do it. Life is about forgetting the past, not worrying about the future, and living in the now. What can you do right now to make your life better? So, what is it that you can do right this very second to make your life better? It could be calling your mom. It could be calling an ex and apologizing. It could be taking responsibility for a negative that you created. It's all about making your life better right now and a lot of times that and that has to do with the forgetting the past and not worrying about the future that to me is the key to life so that is basically it for this episode thank you for listening and please remember to be aware of your thoughts just to see what thought patterns you tend to have it's easy to forget about the thought patterns, but you, it's imperative that you keep track of it and make sure the thoughts and the things going through your mind aren't too evil, too negative, and if they are, try and curb them towards the positive side. If you enjoy this and believe others would also, please tell them. Share this on social media. If you're listening on iTunes, please leave a review because that really helps out the podcast and this is a brand new podcast and the idea is great and i'm still curbing how i'm gonna set these episodes up so these will get better as time goes i'm learning also and if you believe what i've been saying you will also know that i'm taking the things that i haven't liked about these episodes and making them a little bit better just give me some time and i'll become a uh, professional podcaster at some point <laughs> so please leave a review if you have any questions please ask away but remember I am not a professional but sharing how I have dealt with certain circumstances myself so I am not a professional psychiatrist I am not sponsored by any medical groups I am just a person who has spent over three decades analyzing my thought patterns trying to make myself a better person and figured I should train and teach some of you guys some of my tricks and if you would want to be part of this please give contact me you can DM me on Twitter KMA's Corner you can watch my videos on YouTube KMA's Corner you can uh, watch my pictures on Instagram, KMA's Corner. You can come to my Discord, KMA's Corner. Actually, you have to ask for a link. My Discord is private. Um, but if you follow this show, you can come to the Discord and we can talk about these things one-on-one -on -one if you would like. Um, but I hope you enjoy these. If you there's something you want to say uh, or see me cover, please let me know because um, I plan on doing this on a consistent basis for a very, very long time. And hopefully um, enough people respond to this and enjoy listening to these that I can create these for a long time and have, meet a whole bunch of great people like you to help me through this experience. So... Uh, say hi if you want on social media come follow me um, I also stream on Twitch I don't talk about um, health and mental attitudes yet on Twitch I basically my, uh, stream Minecraft but I enjoy the game and I like to hang out with people and make people smile so KMA's Corner on Twitch also but uh, Twitter's the best way to find me and um, if you have anything you'd like to ask or say if I'm doing a good job or a bad job, please let me know. I want to make these better and constructive criticism will help me do that. So guys, uh, if you uh, would like to appear on this and think you have something to add, contact me and we'll talk about it. And uh, have a great day, guys. It's been fun. I'm glad this is episode two. Keep an eye out next week for episode three. Thank you for watching Be Better Today, where we try and make our lives better each and every single day. Goodbye.